Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I solved the problem with this um, hydrofall water pump or maybe it's a booster pump I'm not sure what is this called please please put it in the comments uh, there seems to be so many names for this thing and the broken one is here and I brought a new one so the new one is actually sitting right over here and it's pretty much similar to the to the other one so there's no problem and this one is actually a bit less noisy so that's pretty cool and it's got a new hose and so it's working really good but that doesn't solve the problem with this one um, I don't need it right now but I'm really curious to how can I fix this because it's, it irritates me that I wasn't able to fix this so I took it apart again and for for one thing I found that in here there's a bladder to help pressurize the water and um, when I had disconnected this pump it was very heavy even though I tried to pull out all the water and I found out that on the on the wrong side of this bladder there was like a lot of water this tank was well I think it was more than half full of water so a lot of water has had gone onto the wrong side of this bladder so this bladder might be broken or it might just be a bad seal or probably it's broken but well I took that apart just to see what was in there and well we'll just put put that together again okay I have been have been cleaning this as good as possible and I'm gonna put the put the bladder back in there and I've cleaned the inside of the tank as well Turning it around so that the bladder is not the, at the same spot again. And then this thing, which I've also cleaned, I'm gonna turn that around as well. There's some corrosion. That's the part that has been sitting down. So I'm gonna put that out. There we are, that might be good enough. I hope that's good enough. And there's a has a bad seal here. I think I'm actually gonna wait with that because I wanna take the top part off now. On the back of the motor there's like four bolts. And they're hidden away in here. they're pretty easy to remove with a screwdriver with a bolt attachment I don't know what this is called and on the front here it's uh, some other bolts it's kind of an allen key but it's it's much easier to use it on the drill Let's work. All the bolts are off, so now we can take this off. And it sounded like it had a nice seal. And now I want I want to take off the rotor. And that's just turning around. Fasten it on the back of the motor. There's, there's like a little tab around here, if it's possible. And which way does this go? That way. And that 
can be removed. What is this? Anti-clockwise? Yeah. There that is. This one is detached. And this is something I was trying to put on that didn't work. And now this is shield sealed should be able to be removed with a good screwdriver. screwdriver and here is the seal that has gone bad uh, it's like a spring thing and yeah I, I probably just broke it further with the screwdriver but it it wasn't good to start with Seems like the the piece of metal inside of here has got some corrosion to it too. This metal rod that this seal was on doesn't look that fantastic anymore. Hopefully that will be good. This sealed is supposed to be I think it's supposed to be sliding on this inside of here this sealed is supposed to be on here and sliding on this one and making a, a tight seal there and making a tight seal on on this other part so I need a new set of these and maybe the seal on here it would be a good thing to have that exchanged as well so I have to dismount the the, the motor. I keep kill, calling it an engine. It's not an engine. It's a motor. Sorry. Motor, motor is fastened with some bolts right there. And the engine is out. The motor, and apparently there are some fluids inside of the motor, which is of course not really that good. Oh, and here is the other part of the shield. Here is the other part of the shield, and that, that goes in there. This one is meant to go in here and slide on that one and make a perfect seal, which it, it's not at the moment. This is very hard and it has broken off. So I have to, I have to go up and find another seal like this. Okay, I'm surfing on my favorite place to buy cheap things, spare parts, and I took these with me up from the basement. I found something here that looks very similar to what's on the picture, something like that. And I measured this diameter to be 12 millimeters. I hope that's correct, and I found that over here there's a measurement 
it says 12 millimeters and this one is not that expensive it's four dollars free shipping uh, so I think I'm actually just gonna buy two of those by now and that is done I should be getting two of these it probably takes a while maybe a month maybe a little more than that but I have a working system and when I get the spare parts I will have two working systems uh, if I can fix this anyway well so as so many times before I have one hell of a mess on my table and waiting for spare parts so I really hate to have this sitting around there for so long so I'm gonna put everything away and I found a box for it a red box right there so I'm gonna put that in the red box Well, now I'm just ready for the spare parts from China. They will arrive eventually. Um, but until then, I'm gonna put this away somewhere where it's not in the way. So, thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see if this will ever be working again. Have to be curious. Bye.